everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Valorant TPM error event ID 14 error message you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So if you're coming across this error message when you're playing and you're trying to resolve it, you came to the right place. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in group policy, best match, or come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. Now that we're in group policy here, you want to go ahead and expand underneath where it says computer configuration. Let me just make this a little bit wider here first. But like I was saying, underneath computer configuration, double click on the administrative templates folder that corresponds to it. Don't double click on the one that's underneath user configuration. So anyway, underneath administrative templates, you want to go now to Windows Components and double click on it. Scroll down on this list, you want to locate something that says BitLocker Drive Encryption. Double click on it. And there should be something that says Operating System Drives. Just go ahead and left click on that one time. And now on the right panel, you want to locate something that says Require Additional Authentication at Startup. Double click on it. And you want to select Enabled. And then where it says configure TPM startup, you want to have it allow TPM. And then basically all of them should be the default here. So allow, 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 and allow. And then if you scroll down, yep, they're all set to allow startup. And then once that's done, go ahead and select apply and OK. And then close out of here. Open up the search menu. Type in percent sign temp percent sign. Go ahead and open that up. Any temp files in here, tap the control A key on your keyboard or just drag over any files or folders in here. Right click on them, select the trash bin icon. It's gonna say you'll need to provide administrator permission to delete this folder. Select the continue. If there are any files that couldn't be deleted, that's fine, just would go ahead and select skip. But then once that's done, and this is very important, we're gonna go ahead and restart our computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.